Right now, the test player is leaning towards the lower price point in IKEA's lineup of gaming chairs. As of now, the test player goes for either $179 in Canada or $169 in America. I've been using this gaming chair for over three months now, and in this quick review, I'll be sharing my thoughts on the overall sitting experience. So first, let's start with the mechanisms of this gaming chair. When you pull the lever out, this unlocks a tilt back function. This feature definitely adds to the comfort level of this gaming chair. You can also adjust how much tension you want whenever you're leaning back by either twisting the tilt tension knob one way or the other. This IKEA gaming chair also comes with your standard height adjustment. When you pull up on the lever, you can either adjust the height of the seat up or down. If you want to see if this chair will work with your desk, then the highest level you can adjust it to is 27 and 3 quarter inches, and the lowest is 24 inches. And getting in and out of your desk won't be a hassle, as this gaming chair also comes with your standard 360 degree swivel. As for the casters, they roll somewhat smoothly on hardwood floors, and on carpets, I would say that they roll decently. So if we take a closer look at the seat, the main material has this fake leather finish to it, in which IKEA states it's made out of polyurethane, polyester, and cotton. I really didn't have any issues with this coated fabric when sitting, but as for the cushions in the seat, there are some things I want to bring up before you decide to purchase this gaming chair. For reference, I'm 6 feet tall, and I found the shape of the headrest to be a bit odd. As you can see, it sticks out a bit. The IKEA chairs I've reviewed before either have a flatter shape or more of an encompassing shape around your head. I still found it supportive and soft, but whenever I was leaning my head back, it felt a bit different. As for the middle section of the backrest, I noticed it had a thin layer of polyurethane foam, as did the lumbar region. When I was sitting, I noticed that the lumbar region was supportive and didn't cause any pain in my lower back. And in the back, there's also an extra feature that comes with this IKEA gaming chair, which as you can see, is a mesh pocket. This can be useful for storing any game-related magazines or notebooks. As for the armrests, they're made out of a hard polypropylene, so if you lean your arms for longer periods of time, expect them to get sore. I would also like to add that the seat cushion is on the thinner side, so in my experience, longer hours at the desk were not that comfortable. If you're looking for a gaming chair to sit on for shorter periods of time, then I would recommend this to people. But if you're looking to sit for longer hours while gaming or just working at your desk, then I would look for something more comfortable. Overall, I did like the Utespular gaming desk though that I reviewed a while back. You can click on the banner if you're interested in purchasing something out of this IKEA series. But if you're interested in purchasing this gaming chair, you shouldn't have any issues putting the Utespular together as it should take you less than 30 minutes. You also shouldn't have any issues transporting the package as the dimensions of the box are 34 and 3 quarter inches in length, 23 and 3 quarter inches in width, and 8 inches tall. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, and screw that subscribe button if you want to see more furniture review videos.